Yo E-Clan, we are back working on this road glide, trying to get rid of this front end wobble. And tonight I think we're gonna disassemble the front so we can get to the star nut, the adjustment nut for the neck and tighten that up. So that's the goal for today, get that taken care of and get this bike back on the road and back to the owner. So I thank you for joining me in this little series. But, uh, sorry, the lighting, everything's still kind of packed here in the, in the garage, in the shop, because outside, we were getting ready to have a storm. Oh, and here it comes. Man, the wind was whipping through here like crazy. Whipping through here a minute ago. I didn't, wasn't able to get the cameras set up in time, but it's looking kind of sketch. So, we have everything packed into the garage so we don't get, and if it's hailing, we're just gonna abandon ship and pull everything inside. So let's get going on fixing the neck bearing if you remember from last time, all the way up, one, two, three. Most is supposed to have is two. One, two, three. So we're gonna try to tighten that up. In order to do that, we need to loosen this up and then get in down under this side to where the adjuster nut is. So we're probably gonna have to take all of that off. That's my thought. So let's get digging and just say a little prayer. It doesn't monsoon and hail. What I think is going to be important is before I really get into this, let's kind of walk through the steps of what we're really looking to try to do. So you have an idea where to find these parts on this particular bike, shall we? So per the manual, now I should probably put some screenshots again, like I did last time of the manual showing where to find this information. What we're going to do is the first thing we're going to do, I believe this is called nut number one. And that's the one at the end of the day, I think if I remember right, torque on it was probably close to 70 pounds. So we're going after that, first off. Second off, down here, so handlebars to the nuts there, handlebars here, right there on this particular model is a pinch bolt. So after we loosen that top nut, we're gonna go after the pinch bolt and loosen up the pinch bolt. That way the force can freely move. We're gonna tap on them with a mallet and break them loose to make sure they're loose and they can freely move in there. After that, we gotta figure out how to get the star adjuster nut. Which let me show you where that is. There's your head nut, steering head nut. Down here, down here is your pinch bolt, star adjuster nut. It's back over the handlebars, right it's underneath that nut there. So it's going to be under this area here. And one way you can see it is if you go turn the wheel, turn the handlebars all the way back that way. So we are going for that up there. And then once we get that adjusted, we re-tighten the neck nut and do the swing test again. See if we got it tighter. So let's figure out how to get, we're gonna get to that star bit. We are gonna follow the manual. Incidentally, I have downloaded the manual. I do have the manual in PDF. If you remember the last video, I was putting pictures up, up. I'll do that again. And I'm gonna be using it, it's on my iPad here. So we're gonna follow step for step what the manual says to do. Easy enough. Remove outer fairing and radio storage box as equipped. Next step, I'm gonna pull these four bolts. Gently. 
to expose the neck. So now loosen the top nut, then under here, you can see right there, we can access the star nut. It's small, but I think we can do it. Let's go ahead and break this bolt free. All right, with that free, let's loosen this up a little. Let's go back to our adjustment section. Loosen pinch bolts on lower fork bracket. Need to do that. that loose let's try to adjust the nut that'd be a way to mark this all right so while i was changing out batteries i decided to put three marks on the top i don't know if you can see it there are three marks on the top there and i did a little tap with the uh, screwdriver and they and they are moving so we're going to move it one full tooth mark That looks like one full, one tooth, one full tooth movement. Let's check the swing. Okay, next step is to get the fairing back on. Seventy pounds. Let's try it. Too tight. Too tight. Too tight. Let's loosen it up just a little. We'll go back a half a turn. I like to see it go all the way down and then kind of back up to center. Before we had it going past center and coming back. So let's check it out now. And it pretty much stops dead straight. All the way up. Let go. Stop dead straight. So I think we're tight there. I think we're good. So we're going to make sure the neck nut is torqued down to 70 pounds and we're going to start putting it all back together.